How's it going today, guys? I wanted to share with you another tutorial. Um, I wanted to show you another chord progression that I like. So I'll just play it, and uh, I'll share with you what it, how to play it right after. Alright guys, uh, I'd have to shout out, um, alright guys, I have to shout out Johnny May, uh, or Piano with Johnny, as his handle is. Um, he came up with that, I had learned it and I thought it was really cool, um, so guys feel free to check him out on um, YouTube. But anyways, what those chords are, it's a G, D, E, and C, so sounds better than playing this. nothing wrong with playing a style like that but sometimes it's nice to thicken those chords <laughs> and, and really add some color to your music right? now my opinion is this sounds a lot better than this Yeah, it, sound, it sounds a lot better um, for, you know, one of the main reasons why is there's no, like, special, there's no flavor. You know, when, when you think of music, you think of it as music and art. Music is absolutely an art form, okay? Um, everybody's got their own spin to it. And when you're doing stuff like this, again, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very jumpy, right? Something that I talk a lot about on my channel is you want to try to avoid that. A lot of piano players will play like that, but... Sound sounds a lot more smooth and connected. I mean, ultimately, a lot of you know, pop songs and a lot of, like, especially, like, particularly pop, a lot of, you know, more of a ballad type music, um, a lot of the more mellow, but some, you know, a lot, there's some upbeat stuff that are smooth like that too, but a lot of songs are like that, smooth, especially when you're playing solo. I was just ad libbing guys, but great progression. So anyways, let me tell you about it. So we got G octaves. Everything's gonna be super octaves. It's your root, your fifth, and your root again. Everything. So we'll go ahead and start with the left. So G, D, and G. D, A, and D. you're going to have A, B, D, and G. Then, you're going to have A, D, and G. And after that, you're going to have G, D, and G. And all 
all you're going to do here is just add a C to those notes right there. So G, C, D, G. Kind of gives it that crunch. So anyways, again, this is how it's going to sound when it's, you know, up tempo. Um, Thanks so much for watching. Um, I'm going to be creating a new website and also putting a GoFundMe type of link. Um, I don't know if it'll be GoFundMe specifically, but it'll be a uh, just a spot if you feel like donating to keep these videos going. Um, and basically what that's going to entail uh, or allow is I'm going to get better equipment, um, work on sound system, uh, just basically everything that involves the tutorials, covers, you name it. Um, that way I'm not recording on an iPhone and, uh, you know, a tripod. <laughs> um, but anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching and I will see you again soon.